Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com and today let's sketch cups. Here what I started with was just some photos of a very simple object. And the idea is just to keep the tool simple, the subject matter simple, and to just get to the drawing. And as you may or may not know, I recently released a new bundle that's all about this, where I try and get to the bottom of drawing with a stylus. Just basic lines, it's harder than it looks. And so the tools I'm using right here are included in that series. And what they're supposed to replicate are basic cheap tools that you might use at art school. Simple charcoal, that kind of stuff. And as you see me drawing this cup, the goal is not to replicate the look of charcoal just for the sake of sort of tricking the audience. The goal is actually the same one that I had at art school, which was if the tool is really, really simple, the technical stuff doesn't get in the way. Instead, what you're focusing on is just capturing what you're looking at. It kind of strips away the complexity. Now, sure, I am switching back and forth between the brush tool and the eraser tool, but at its core, using these brush presets allows me to sort of skip some of the technical stuff, to not think about the brush diameter and you know how much opacity I'm using. All that stuff is set up ahead of time. As you see me make a number of these drawings, it really highlights how streamlined this process is. I got everything set up ahead of time, and when you replicate an assignment like this, I encourage you to do the same. So I have all my photos ready to go, they're the right size, and I just don't have to fuss around with any of the setup stuff. The other thing I'd mention about this particular subject is that I've chosen something that's sort of deceptively simple. Yes, it's a basic drinking mug, but what that means is it has a lot of ellipses, and the ellipses become very important. The accuracy and the degree of these ellipses is what will make or break the drawing. So when you are doing simple sketching like this, I would say it's really beneficial to pick a subject matter that's going to help challenge you. Like, I didn't just take a picture of the cup, I took pictures from a bunch of different angles. There's not a lot of elements in the image, so each of them matters a lot. The relative size and scale of the top of the cup versus the handle, these things will be very obvious if I get them wrong. But on the other hand, I'm not spending a lot of time on these images. I'd consider these gesture sketches, which means the goal is to capture the essence as quickly as you can, and then to move on and do another one. Part of what makes that possible here are the tools being sort of streamlined. Part of it is that I am using temp layers in order to have a little extra layer control when I need it, but then I'm flattening down pretty liberally. All right, so let's do another one, and this time I'm going to do a really high angle. I think this sort of angle is really challenging. What it does is it has a lot of foreshortening because we can see a lot of the top of the cup but not as much of the side. So there's this sort of visual squashing that's happening. But once again, I'm using that back and forth between adding pigment with the charcoal brush and then removing it with the kneaded eraser. In fact, I'm only using one layer right now and that really just allows the eraser to work more fluidly. You know, I can flip back and forth very quickly between the two tools, and it just kind of has this add and subtract, push and pull feel. So work this way requires you to memorize keyboard shortcuts, and it certainly helps to have your brushes ready ahead of time. But once you get all that worked out, it's really fluid and really dynamic. Okay, and for this final one here, I'm going to start with measurement lines. This is visual measuring. Here I'm starting with a sort of measurement of angles, not working in tones. And I wanted to do this to contrast the last one because these are two totally different ways of working. I have the same exact subject matter, but I am doing two totally different drawing styles because there's no perfect way. There's always two different ways to handle the same drawing. And so if you're practicing, it's a really good idea to practice different approaches. Now, if you do want to improve the way that you actually mechanically draw with your stylus, I do encourage you to check out the Digital Sketching Starter Kit. But no matter how you practice, the essential thing is that you do it. So have fun sketching. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.